Making your drawing structured and business ready is easier than you think. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to do that. But first, let's set up a base scene using the default settings. We'll be working on a simple guide for HR to streamline the onboarding process of new employees. Next, let's add a subtitle to introduce the purpose of this guide, followed by a short introduction outlining the key phases of onboarding. Since clarity is key, we're adjusting the text width by dragging the cursor with the text tool selected, keeping everything well-structured and easy to read. Now let's move on to defining the key phases of the onboarding process, starting with pre-boarding along with its key tasks. To keep everything structured, we're going to reuse this format for other phases as well. And since this part of the video is quite repetitive, we're gonna speed things up so we can move on to the next big piece, visualizing the process with a diagram. Now, let's create a diagram to clearly separate HR and IT responsibilities. With Xcali Draw's built-in shortcuts, structuring diagrams like this is quick and effortless. Command plus arrow adds new nodes, while option plus arrow lets you navigate the diagram seamlessly. First, let's map out IT's responsibilities. Their role is to set up accounts, provide necessary equipment, and ensure access to company tools and software. On the other side, HR takes care of the onboarding process, preparing necessary documents, organizing introductions, and ensuring the new hire has the right support. To wrap things up, we're gonna add a closing note explaining why this document matters, reusing the intro text to speed things up. And that would be it for the base scene creation. Now let's move on to the first tip, playing with different fonts. Excaladraw is known for its handwritten font, which is set by default for the text tool. But you're not limited to just that. And if you need, you can choose from other fonts available in the preferences panel or font picker. To help you with it a bit, Lolita One is ideal for headings or text that needs to stand out. Nunito works great for standard paragraph text, and Comic Shans is perfect for code, citations, or when you want to differentiate your text a bit but still want to keep it on a more serious note. In this part of the video, you can see how even a small tweak, such as playing with fonts and their sizing, can have a big impact on how the whole drawing feels. But since this process is all about experimenting until we're satisfied, we'll speed things up a bit. And before we go further, here's a quick tip. When resizing an element with text, the text size stays the same by default. But if you want to scale the text proportionally with its container, just hold shift while resizing. Now that we've set the right tone with fonts, let's move on to the next tip of this video, using Xkelly Draw libraries for supporting your drawing visually. For our video, we'll be looking for libraries with icons to support our diagram, starting with an icon that represents IT, like a computer. Once we find a good fit, we'll add it to our Xcala Draw library and then place it onto the canvas by clicking on it in the Libraries panel. 
We're going to make sure the icon matches the diagram size by resizing it. Once we're satisfied, we'll continue with an icon representing HR, like a document. After finding a suitable library, we'll add it to Excaladraw again and choose the right icon by placing it onto the canvas. This process is the same for any icons you're going to need in your drawing. To make sure the icons match the design of the diagram, we'll make one additional tweak, adding a rectangle as a background and container behind each of the icons. Once we're satisfied with the overall look, we're going to move on to the next tip, adjusting element settings for a cleaner design. Here, we're going to show you how even simple changes, like adjusting stroke width, style, sloppiness, sharp edges, arrowheads, and of course, colors, can significantly impact how your design feels. And since this process is all about experimenting, we're going to speed it up a bit until we're satisfied with the outcome. Now that we're done with it, let's move on to the next tip, setting specific sizes to be even more precise. To make sure our design can be easily printed out if needed, we're going to create a rectangle around the entire base scene in A4 format. For this, we'll open the canvas and shape properties via right-click on the canvas and set a specific width and height. Since we have a lot of elements that won't fit in portrait mode, we'll rotate the rectangle horizontally and adjust the layout to fit everything inside. During this process, we'll speed the video up a bit until we move on to the diagram part. As you can see, our diagram is a bit bigger than necessary, so we're going to use canvas and shape properties again to resize individual nodes and reposition the whole diagram until it fits just right. This may take a while, so we're speeding things up again. Now it fits perfectly, and we're ready for the last tip, aligning all elements for a polished finish. For this, we're going to use multiple useful features. Snapping to objects can be enabled via right-click on the canvas. This handy feature displays red guidelines whenever you move an element, making it easy to align or snap objects together. If you need to distribute a group of objects evenly horizontally or vertically, make sure to check the Align functions in the Preferences panel. These tools allow you to space elements perfectly with just a click, keeping your design structured and balanced.
With the help of these alignment tools, we're gonna fine tune the whole design until we're satisfied. And since this is all about experimenting, we'll speed up the process a bit again. And for even more precision, you can enable the grid from the context menu, which helps to distribute elements even more effortlessly or ensure that everything is perfectly in place, just like in our case. A few last changes, and our guide is good to go, looking clean, structured, and professional. But it wouldn't be us if we didn't show you how with a few extra tweaks and the right use of colors, you can take this design to the next level. And that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.